Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. Welcome back to another World of Tanks replay with your host, Gray Taz. Now let's get on the show in three, two, one, roll out. <laughs> Great Taz here once again with another World of Tanks replay. We're watching myself play the G-Sor. The, the long name is is the, it's the Tier 9 British uh, light tank. The G-Sor 3303, I think it is. Something really crazy like that. Uh, everything uh, truncates it down into G-Sor. So as you can see here, this is actually a really good spotter tank um, overall. And as you can see, I'm spotting people left and right. And the camouflage is not quite equal on to the uh, even 90, uh, but it is really good. As you can see here, I am getting spots in all over the place. I'm trying to stay just below the ridge so that only the turret is sticking up. As you can see here, right there, I actually get spotted by the TVP 5051. Uh, I just wasn't up far enough, but as you can see, I've already got 1,600 damage, and that's from just if just 1,600 damage, and that 1,600 damage came off the Ferdinand. So I got every point of damage off the Ferdinand right there, as you can see. There I am spotted again, trying to peek back up in there, trying to keep those guys over there spotted. So I'm going to do a quick runaway session. As you can see there, I got the Type 59 spotted. And got some of its spotting damage. I also got some spotting damage off the, um, basically the T28 prototype there earlier too. There, the T54 lightweight comes up and actually gets a shot into me, which uh, surprises the hell out of me that he was actually able to get up there with my view range and all and actually spot me. Now. I am just trying to play very passively at this point since the T-54 Lightweight has decided to come up. He did am damage my turret. I'm not really worried about the turret as much uh, as I am the ability to... Holy smokes! The XM-66F right there shooting behind me. Kind of give you a start. Not worried about the, the turret as much as, you know, generally because I'm trying not to do a lot of firing in this tank. I don't have it maxed out quite yet. So, waiting to get that big old 90 millimeter gun on it. Overall, and as you can see here, I am still spotting tanks. There is the 54 lightweight. Not sure why I'm not moving. Um, I did shoot. Not sure why I didn't move right there. Uh, that's kind of weird because normally I would have shot and moved. Uh, but I didn't. And for some reason, I still can't figure out why. Um, I wasn't tracked or anything, so still haven't repaired my, uh, as you can see, repaired my turret there, not really worried. Now I come over here to, next to the, the 130, and I just start creating some, you know, creating some cover. Uh, why not, you know, it, the 130 is not moving, uh, give him some extra cover, give me a little extra cover along the ridge right here to be able to spot. All right, we're going to still continue to try to spot. As you can see, I'm just, just playing Lumberjack here. 103B uh, taking a shot at me like the jweek that he is. Overall, there's the 130 getting a good shot in Gobi. And unfortunately, the 130 gets two-shotted just like that. I'm not sure what hit him the first time, but it was the T-54D uh, that is up on the hill. Now this is right after the, the during the uh, Irish weekend or the St. Patrick's weekend event uh, on, in the end of March. It was like the 14th to the 19th of March. 14th to the yeah, 14th to the 19th of March or something. There you can see the T54 coming off the hill. There I am taking Patton pictures. Yeah, didn't get any of that spotting, but that's no big deal overall. As you can see, we got two of our Allied tanks down there in their base. Overall, I'm keeping an eye on that T-54D, and I'm continuing to try to move. Once I know that I've definitely got enough cover between me, I take a quick snapshot and do actually get the hit. Now, with 18 hit points, 
I am not in any way, shape, or form really wanting to actually be anywhere where I could get spotted. So I do get spotted, and the T-54 does try to come out there. But in, in the attempts of actually trying to shoot me, um, he loses every hit point he has. So the enemy does have us kind of surrounded. Uh, our Char Future is doing uh, not a great job. But as you can see here, I'm still not giving up. i just rushing way back and trying to actually get other shots in. There's that freaking 103B, Polio Sheen, hoping to get a shot in there to, just to give him back a little bit of damage that he actually gave me. Now what I'm doing here is, uh, is a technique of actually giving myself the ability to run away quicker. Overall, as you can watch in the minimap, TVP 50-51 is going after the Char Future 4. Unfortunately, the Char Future 4 is down there by himself and alone. And we have tanks going up the hill and everything like that. They do end up taking out the STI or the ST1, whatever you want to name it, uh, which is good. But with the Leo and the Skoda, f excuse me. But with the Leo and the Skoda going up top, they run into a turtle, unfortunately. And uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be a good day for them. The Char Future over there is pretty much in a position of well dead i try to get over here to help out uh it's a little late i am pinging the help button trying to get someone to turn around and pay attention because now this whole side is absolutely undefended sarah you can see i see the k91 pull around pull forward enough that the bush does completely cover me and take a quick shot into him the k91 does know there is someone there well knows i am there but not exactly where i'm trying to get help and everything as you can see the leo one starts coming back down the hill the scotty t50 goes up if you watch what the 103 completely did it went all the way around the bottom of the hill and back up their side so he did quite a bit of hiding now i come into a position here and I don't want to start shooting. So I, I, I'm going to sit here and try to spot this whole slide so that, you know, th my team might be able to do something. But I noticed that the, the house is in the way of the D-line, uh, blocking off a lot of the D-line and stuff like that. So I do um, do and hope that I get a, a little bit of response. And I ask here in a moment if someone could take out the buildings. I don't want to take them out because I don't want to be spotted where I'm sitting, especially overall. I also mentioned to the simple fact um, someone else is going to have to take care of that stinking cap circle. I can't do it, not with 18 hit points. The Leo sits, uh, asks where I point out, point out the building. I just need those building, uh, some of those buildings taken out right there. That way I can see beyond them. The Leo does shoot a few rounds. Not sure what rounds they do shoot into it. Uh, I'm just hoping that I'd be able to spot either one of those two coming around. So we still have, and that, well, that's the only building I really need to take it out overall. So I do ping one more time. And once we go in here and I'm still sitting here, just, just keeping an eye on things. I, I know I can't take myself down into the valley. Um, as you can see there, I say someone else is going to have to worry about the cap because I honestly can't. I got 18 hit points. So the XM-66 starts moving down this way, and so does the Leo. But upon doing that, they spot the CS-52, and then everybody else starts coming out of the woodwork like that boom ba -doo, boom they do completely surround the cap so that we can't get to it and in turn the xm's gone unfortunately still got to continue fighting I'm not trying to fire in the cap is the their xm as i can see it right there someone does take a shot i do get the spotting damage for it which is spectacular it makes me happy 
it does put them back all the way into more of a position. So I did get the spot damage for that too. As you can see here, one of the STRVs decides, well, I'm going to go charging in, but I'm in a position where I can't really do any shooting. I am now lone man left on the totem pole, so all I can do is take a shot and get shot. Unfortunately, that is defeat right there. And I did what actually I could do. So let's see what how I actually did by going on over to whatrecords.com right now and see what the stats say. So this is one of my better battles I had in the GSOR for spotting. It wasn't a great for damaging, as you can see. I only did 977, but I did 5,237 spotting, which is really good on Malakanova. I wish I could have did better. I needed another freaking thousand points of damage. I think roughly 900, and I would have been in a position to actually complete a mission, another mission. Unfortunately, it did end in a defeat. Uh, the team, I, I couldn't get out further. I was in the furthest out position that I could actually get to be some safe and have the my allies being able to shoot stuff unfortunately it just didn't work out overall but i did get a third class badge and a patrol duty which means that you must be the only player spotting the enemy tanks at the moment when they are damaged uh and six enemy vehicles um must be spotted so I, I got quite a bit of that because of the positions i was sitting and i was sitting far enough that i was in the enemy would come into my spot range but be still with be in the draw range of my allies so that's how you do that you got to have them be in your spot range but not your ally spot range and be the only one spotting so it's not the easiest to get it takes a little finesse and it takes a lit a lot of luck that someone else is not in a position to be able to steal that spot damage so um it basically you got to be the front man what it boils down to overall team score as you can see i'm way down here in the middle on damage uh i am number one on my team for experience overall so five shots fired four of them did hit all four that hit did penetrate so that gave me the 977 damage i received five hits all five of them penetrated this tank does not have any armor whatsoever i think it's 35 all the way around everywhere i think 35 is the max and that's the front and the front of the turret and i think it's like 30s on the sides and like 10 on the back um it's really unarmored overall spotted five enemies four enemies these damaged i've potted for 5237 damage traveled roughly 3.2 kilometers it was almost a 10 minute battle i was the last person to die the discrepancy in differences because the battle lasts a few more seconds after uh, a round is fired it continues the clock a hidden clock so you can actually if you're almost about the cap and you see an enemy if you just shoot it and do damage and then if you shoot it and do damage another like three to five seconds later it'll continue that clock i've seen games go almost 15 to 20 seconds longer than the actual win countdown of a ca of a capture because people were still doing damage uh, and it won't stop the game if someone's if damage is done it adds more time onto the timer and it's usually in games like frontline that i see it go a lot longer uh, they have re fixed that so it's not so long anymore but i still see it at least about 10 seconds i think the longest i think was like 33 seconds the game went over after an enemy team had won so overall it was again with a premium account 24,300 for courageous resistance that was because i got scout scout uh, patrol duty here i got another 5,427 now this is what push what courageous the resistance is is basically earning a heroic award in, on a while on a defeating team and that will give you everything like if you were on the winning a winning team so basically it turns your loss into a win your base stuff doesn't change but your overall stuff does so as you can see here i got another 424 which is basically twice as much as uh i earned generally that's Basically, this and this together is what I would have basically earned as 
a winning on the winning team and that's same go same for the credit would have earned another 5427 credits if i was on the winning team still takes into account for your death and all that other stuff so 477 is overall i spent 134 in repairs and another 2800 in ammo so a 3159 is what i ended up with overall in the end of everything for experience 711 424 from courageous resistance and for completing missions and rewards i had 568 for 1700 basic experience which at this point was uh i believe still like i said i don't think i have this tank fully researched at this point in time but was going into getting more stuff it wasn't the first of but of the battle and i didn't have a five time expansion on it which is kind of weird because i have a bunch of five time bonus missions and five times this is definitely not that not sure how i got another 500 anyway it is what it is as you can see here it was just a tier 9 scout doing some scouting uh, out on scout p patrol duty so overall it was a it was a good battle i tried 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 all the way up to the last minute as you saw there at that point i had not I mean, no choice but to take one last shot because as soon as i was spotted everyone was going to turn their guns to me and shoot so i had to make sure i kept my gun on something and i wanted to return the favor to the 103 may have not been the same 103 that shot me since they had two of them but i wanted a little bit more damage in terms of not ending up getting any more damage so that little extra damage got me that little extra credit little extra experience overall with that all being said if you like this video and this replay make sure that you give it a thumbs up scroll right down below while you're down there leave a comment even if it's your favorite emoji youtube loves interaction there's a second way to say that you like and comment on this video if you go down in the description below while you're down there click on the link that is in there it should take you to this page right here now you may have to sign in up in the upper right hand corner as you see my name and the logout up here once you do that uh, using the world of tanks api and, and come back to this page there should be a thumbs up right here and a thumbs down right here go ahead and click that thumbs up now if you scroll down below as i accidentally scrolled down up in here you'll scroll down below there's that comment section right down below kind of very similar to like the comment section on youtube well that all being said ladies and gentlemen i hope you did enjoy this and if you're enjoying all my world of tanks replays and everything else i do here make sure you that you click that subscription button by doing that that helps out the channel and it also helps you get notifications of when this stuff goes up and if you want notifications for everything i do on here that doesn't just include my world of tank replays but my minecraft stuff game reviews and shorts make sure you click that notification bell changing it from personalized to all to get notifications of all items i upload to the channel with that all being said ladies and gentlemen this is great Taz saying i will see you again soon and maybe i will see you on the battlefield